my Beatitudes friends, welcome back for another fun-filled Fitness Foundations. I'm super happy to be with you again today. So let's stand it up. And I always like to start out with a little bit of a warm-up just to get our joints and our blood moving. Okay, so come on up to standing. All right, let's start with a march. Right and left. Right and left. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, heels to the front with a push, 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 push. Four more. Four, straighten those arms. Three, two, and one. March it out. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, toes to the back with a reach. Reach, straighten those arms, reach, reach. Four more, four, three, two, one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll your shoulders, roll it back, roll it back, roll it. You got it. All right, let's add a heel. Roll the heel, roll the heel, roll, roll. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Bend your arms, bring the elbows up, keep that heel going. Nice big range of motion. Four more like this, four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, arms overhead. Push with the heel, push with the heel, push, push. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Arms out, open and bend, open and bend. Hinge from those elbows. Four more like this. Four, three, two, and one. Keep the arms straight. Cross and open. Cross. Switch which one is on top each time. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. March it out for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, little kicks to the front. Keep low, right close to the floor. Beautiful. All right, add a little push with it. For four, three, two, and one. Walk it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just your heels, heel, and in. Heel, and in, heel, one more, point your toe for four, three, two, and one, beautiful, all right, now we're all nice and warmed up, come on back down to your chair, Ooh, take a load off, don't relax too much, we're going to go straight into our exercises, I want you to grab both your hand weights, but stay seated, okay? Okay. All right. Woo. I want you to come forward in your chair. We're going to work on the legs first today. So we're going to do a straight leg lift. So this is using the muscles in our thighs and our lower abs. I won't get technical with you. But I do want your foot flexed so you're really engaging your muscles. Now here's how you can make it more of a challenge. You can take one weight or two weights. It's up to you. The closer you get that weight to your knee, the more challenging it is. The closer you get it to your hip, the less challenging it is. So you can customize it. Now I want you to sit tall. Good posture is important. With your free hand, grab that chair, lift that leg. It's lift, 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 lift. Four more. Four. Three, two, one, second set. It's eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay. Other side, change legs. Okay, extend that leg, flex that foot, sit tall, hold the side of your chair with your free hand, lift that leg. It's up and down, up and down, up, good. Keep it going for four, three, two, and one second set. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, are you feeling it in your legs? Oh, me too. Okay, if you only have one weight in your hand, pick up your other weight. We want one in each hand for our next one. We're gonna work the back. We're still staying seated. And I'm gonna have you get your posture nice and tall. You're going to hinge forward from the hips. You're just gonna lay that belly right in your lap. Take both those hands and you're gonna bring them slightly forward, aim towards your toes. We're gonna pull the elbows back. We're pinching the shoulder blades together and then releasing it. Pull it back, hold and down. Give me four, slow. Four, hold and down. Exhale, three, hold and down. Pull two, Hold and down, one more slow. One, hold and down, make it a little quicker. Up and down and up, give me eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so our next exercise, we're gonna work the back side of the shoulder. So, we're gonna lean forward again and we're gonna take our arms out to the side. So your weights may seem like a little much in that position. It's completely okay to put your weights down and just do this with a closed fist. Okay, so I'm gonna get you in position. We'll do a couple practice ones. So sit tall, hinge forward so you've got a flat back. Now your arms are long, the weights are right by the sides of your calf. So what we're gonna do is take it out to the side and bring it in. Give yourself a couple practice ones. Now, if this is too much for your shoulders, go ahead and just put your weights down and do the exercise with a closed fist. I'll give you a second here to get ready. Okay, back in your position. Okay, flat back, your head's up watching me. Ready? Here we go. Bring it up, hold, and in. Give me eight. Eight. Hold and in. Exhale, seven. Hold and in. That's your breathing pattern. Six. Hold and in. Exhale, five. Hold and in. Use the back of the shoulders. Four. Hold and in. Exhale, three. Hold and in. Lift, two. Hold and in. One more like this. One. Hold and in. Woo! Round your back, round your back, stretch it out. Beautiful. Okay, um, let's see here. We're going to keep our weights and come up to standing. All right, it's time to stretch those legs. Okay, so we want a little bit of range of motion here. We're gonna go into some rotation as an exercise. So we're gonna rotate it out and in. When we're coming in, you don't wanna over rotate it. That's not important. But what I do want you to accomplish is taking those palms all the way out to the side walls. Now we're really stretching that rotator cuff. So just a couple more, three, two, one more like this, one, keep it turned out, bend those elbows, tuck them in. Now your forearms should be parallel to the floor. We're gonna turn this next rotation into an exercise. We're gonna rotate in right by our belly button and rotate out from the shoulder. Now, as we do this, I'm gonna add a heel. That's optional. You can do it if you want. In with a heel, in with a heel, in 
You don't have to do the heel if you don't like it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, second set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Okay, relax those arms. Okay, watch where your chair is. Our last one in this series, we're gonna do a squat, stand, and bicep curl. So make sure you know that your chair is behind you in case you're a little unsure of your balance. Now your feet are in neutral, so your, your heels are right below your hip bones. So that's the edges of your pelvic bones. We're gonna sit back like you're pooping in the woods, right? We're gonna stand up. We're going to rotate the palms up and towards the front of the shoulders and return it. It's two separate moves, all right? Are you ready? Okay, let's take it down. Down, up, bicep curl, return. Down, up, curl, give me eight. Down, up, here's eight. Down, up, seven. Keep your knees behind the edges of your toes. Six, down, up, five, down, up, four, down, up, three, down, up, two, down, up, and one. All right. Okay, let's leave those weights in your chair and come on back to the side. We'll do a little bit of a balance exercise, okay? All right, we're going to move one toe. Well, the toe is of one foot. So we're gonna balance on one foot. So since we're on the, the right side, we're gonna move the right leg. So put all your weight into that left foot. We're gonna take that right toe forward and bring it in. Then we're gonna take it back and bring it in. So it's forward and center. Take it back and center. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. The chair is there if you need it. If this is all too much for you, then all I want you to do is a single leg stand and just practice that, okay? Working on the core strength. Ready? Here we go. It's front, in, back. There's eight. Front, in, back for seven. Front, and back for six. Front, back for five. Front, back for four. Front, back for three, front, back for two, front, and back. Hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. I know I threw a lot at you. I want to challenge you. I don't expect you to master this by any means. Okay, so why do we do this? We're gonna strengthen the core. Fall prevention and single leg exercises are really great for stabilizing the pelvis. A weak pelvis can lead to weak hips, which lead to a fall. It all ties in together, my friends. Okay, I've stalled to give you a little recovery time. Now we're gonna put all our weight into that right foot. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna take the, the toe forward of the left foot and bring it in, and then we're gonna to touch behind. So we're putting a little bit of movement in to challenge you. Again, if all this is too much, all I want you to do is a single leg balance, okay? You choose. I want you to be safe, but I wanna challenge you. Chairs there if you need it. Okay, tighten those abs, you ready? Here we go. It's front, in, back. There's eight. Front, back for seven. Front, back for six. Front, back for five. Front, back for four. 
front, back for three, front, back for two, front, and back, pull it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, I almost lost it myself. Very nice. Okay. So we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to grab our ball and stay standing. I already got you up there. Let's stay standing. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to hold on now. Not a balance exercise, but we are doing a one sided exercise. Okay. So you're holding the chair. We're just going to stay on this side. Left hand comes up. So this is range of motion. I want you to extend your arm up. A lot of times we do this with the weight for strength. This time with the ball, it's very light. I want you to focus on straightening this elbow today. Okay? Range of motion, stretching through the back. So we're going to take it overhead, return, side leg. Now, again, important about form. This side leg, I want you to feel like you're pigeon toed and I want you to turn your toe inward and lead with the heel. Why? Because we do a lot of sitting. In this position, the hip flexors get tight. And if you rotate that toe out, you're relying on the hip flexors. We don't want to make them any tighter. We want to activate that hip for pelvic stability. How do I know this? I'm a corrective exercise personal trainer, so you get the best of both worlds with me. I'm here to help you. All right, trust me. Ready? Here we go, arm first. Up, down. Lead with the heel, return. Up, down. Eight, return. Up, down. Seven, up, down. Six, up, down. Five, up, down. Four, up, down. Three, up, down. Two, are you straightening? Up, down and one. Nice and easy. Okay. Go to the other side of the chair. Okay. Nice tall spine. Here we go. It's up, down, side leg, return, up, down, side leg. Give me eight. Up, down, eight, up, down, seven, up, down, six, down, five, up, down, four, up, down, three, up, down, two, up, down, and one. Whew. Okay, we're almost back down. I got one more standing. So I'm going to come over here. I want you right behind your chair. But we're doing a hamstring curl, so I'm going to step out from my chair so you can see what I am doing. So that ball goes between your thighs, right above your knees, okay? And you're behind your chair holding on. We're going to alternate bending the knees, bringing the heels up to the butt, okay? We'll go a little faster. Up, 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 up. Good. That ball is keeping your knees from flying forward. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Second set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's take that out. Take those weights out of your chairs and have a seat. Keep your ball. Okay. Come forward in your chair. Put that ball right between your knees. Whew, we're going to take that intensity down a little bit. Okay, hips, knees, and ankles all in alignment. Your toes are facing forward. Do not duck out. Okay? We're going to work the inner thighs. Here we go. Squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one hold that squeeze. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Keep it there. Relax the tension. Okay, so we're going to hold this chair. I want you to jump your feet off the ground. Can you do that? Lean back a little bit. Get those feet off the ground. Lift. It's eight, seven, exhale, six. Use those abs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. All right, take that ball out. This Give it a squeeze. As we're winding it down, I want to get you into that stretching mode. Okay, like a little stress ball. Just a couple more. For four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Okay, let's just put that ball down out of the way. I'm going to turn this volume down just a little bit. Okay. Whew. Heart rate should be down. You should be feeling good. Come forward in your chair. Let's do a little bit of stretching. Let's take that right leg out in diagonal. You're going to point that toe and flex it. Fingertips come out over that toe. You should feel a nice little stretch in the back of that leg. And breathe. Bring it in. Lift your knee. Point and flex up here. Ankle goes in a circle. And go the other way. Good. Sit that down. Okay, nice tall posture. Left leg comes out on the diagonal. You're gonna point your toe and flex it. Fingertips come out over that toe. Keep your back tall. You should feel a little stretch in the back of that leg. Bring it in, lift that knee. Point and flex up here. Ankle goes in a circle and go the other way. Good, sit it down. Let's lace those fingers together around your back. Pull those shoulder blades away from the spine. That feels good. And release it. Sit up nice and tall. Open up those arms. Roll the thumbs back. Tip your head back, stretching through the front of your body. Breathe. And release that. Okay, right arm comes across your body. Left hand pulls it in. Drop that shoulder away from your face. And enjoy that stretch. Are you breathing? Okay. And release that. Let's go the other way. Pull it in. Good. Nice and relaxing breath. Releasing the tension. All right. Release that. Okay. Right arm up. Pat yourself on the back as well as you can. You're going to take two fingers. You're going to push that elbow up to the ceiling. It's a goal. We're all at different stages in our flexibility, right? So keep trying and breathe. Good. Release that. Okay, other side, up and over. Take two fingers. Push that elbow up. Okay, keep your neck straight. Get your chin off your chest. Good. And release that. Arms open up. Turn your thumbs down to the ground. Press those palms back. Good. Stretch out those biceps. And bring it in. Okay. We got time for our glutes. Cross one ankle over one knee. Sit tall. You're going to tilt your pelvis forward, dropping your belly button in the opening that your legs make. Nice long spine. Deep breath in. Blow it out. One more time, deep breath in, blow it out your mouth. Feel the tension leaving your muscles and release that. Let's switch sides. One ankle over the knee or as close to it as you can get. Tall spine, tilt your pelvis forward. Good, all right, deep breath in, blow it out. One more time, deep breath in and exhale. And release that. Woo! Okay, arms by your side, home stretch. We're rotating those wrists. 
and we're going the other way. Deep breath in, arms up overhead, and exhale. And one more time, deep breath in, and exhale. Oh, you should be so proud of yourself for doing this today. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.